from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Hi, I'm Jason Martinez with this 10 News update. People being warned to stay out of the water today after yesterday's heavy rains. A general rain advisory is in effect for 72 hours. People are being asked to stay out of the water because bacteria levels can rise significantly after the rainfall. The rain also led to multiple crashes on our roadways yesterday. SDG&E had to shut down power about to about 300 homes in Rancho Bernardo after a driver lost control and hit a power pole. Slow down and drive carefully. Deputies increasing patrols at Rancho Buena Vista High School today because of a threat written in a bathroom. Now, the principal says the threat was not credible, but as a precaution, there will be more deputies patrolling the area. The county released a statement saying that all threats are taken seriously and those responsible will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. And training exercises being conducted at MCAS Miramar today. They're hosting the 3rd Marine Aircraft Wings Readiness Exercise. So people in Del Mar, University City, and Carmel Valley may notice a little bit more military uh, traffic, air traffic than usual uh, in some of those usual flight patterns. No need to be alarmed. Just be aware it's going to be happening today. And the most competitive off-road motorcycle racing in the world is coming to San Diego this weekend. The Monster Energy Supercross Race is tomorrow at Petco Park. Doors open at noon with the Fan Fest. Action begins at 6.30, rain or shine, and it could be a muddy one, Megan. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a muddy one. We are going to see that rain rolling in pretty much all day tomorrow. Today, though, we get a break. We'll see some sunshine, temperatures in the 60s for most of the county, 50s in the mountains, right around 70 degrees in our deserts. But tomorrow, we're going to see two parts to this storm. The warm front in the morning will bring isolated to scattered, mostly light to moderate showers. The afternoon and evening is when the cold front swings through with much heavier rain and much stronger winds. Flooding will be a concern tomorrow, so be prepared for that and uh, just kind of prepare. This is the second and more potent storm of the three. Jason? And for the latest news, weather, and traffic, go to 10news.com or download our free 10 News app in your app store. For 10 News, I'm Jason Martinez.